Hello and welcome to the next video in the Invented Tips and Tricks playlist. The only Tips and Tricks playlist, well it's probably not, but it's the only one you should know about. But, contrary to that last statement of magnificence and egotistical madness, I can't take credit for this tip. I've just been informed about this on the Vault forums of all places, where we were talking about... The, the, the problem was, right, when you start an inventor, randomly, and it, it's happened to me and it's probably happened to you, inventors got this really nasty habit, and it's done it for years, of setting your project file back to default when you should be working on this one. And, and you know for a fact that when you shut Inventor down, it was you were working on this project file, but now it's set to default. And you're like, God damn it, because you don't realise it's done it until you're like trying to check something in the vault, or you're doing something else, and you're like, oh, for flip's sake, and then you've got to save everything and shut it all down, and then open it back up again. And... It's just a pain in the hoop, frankly. So the question get asked. The question gets asked on a regular basis. How can you set your project file to always be this project whenever you open up Inventor? And there isn't actually a way of doing it like like a catch-all permanent solution. But there is a number of different ways of, of achieving it to varying extents. Now, my previous method was to go into the application options on the general tab, and then you instruct Inventor that when it starts up always create a new file, pick your, pick your template, and then select the project file. So whenever Inventor opens up, it just it always activates that project file. And now that was my method, and I was of the opinion, wrongly, that that was the only way of doing it. And someone's just, someone's just told me a, a much easier, and more convenient way of doing it. Because that method there, it just, it, Inventor takes a little bit longer to start up, so it's a bit of a nuisance, especially if you're opening Inventor to then open a drawer, and you don't want to start a new file, you want to open a drawer. And so that method was, that method was a, a bit user unfriendly. So, how do we get it to set to this project file here on startup? Right. Well, I'm going to shut down Inventor. I'm going to show you how. So, it's all about manipulating your shortcut. Right click on your Inventor shortcut on your desktop and go to the properties of it. Now, in the target box here, you should have blah, 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 inventor.exe with some quotes afterwards and nothing else after it. Now, the next thing you want to do is browse to the folder that your project file is contained within. So in this case, mine is this one here. Copy that to the clipboard, the full path, and then after the target quotes, the last quotes, press, and it's got to be exactly like this. If you put a space in the wrong place, it literally won't work. It's got to be exactly this. Spacebar, forward slash, P for Papa, F, Foxtrot, quotes, and then paste the path in. And then finish it off by going backslash and then the name of your project file, which mine is thread.ipj. Close quotes. Apply. Okay. Right, and that's it. That's all you do. Now, whenever I start Inventor up using just this shortcut, it only applies to this shortcut. It's a shortcut specific action. That switch will instruct Inventor to activate the shortcut thread whenever it loads up. Isn't that magnificent isn't that just absolutely delicious there are some downsides to it though and the, there's no like i said before there's no foolproof complete blanket method of, of applying the same project file always um, although i'm sure it's on the wish list so for example if you would if you had a bunch of files in windows explorer and you double click them to load inventor up from the file it would bypass the shortcut if you were to open you know from the vault client which isn't recommended anyway but if you were to do that it would bypass your shortcut um, and also, I'm not too sure how service packs will change. I think service packs might replace shortcuts. I'm not too sure. So, and, and if you've got multiple, if you're a manager of multiple users, trying to get the shortcut across multiple desktops is going to be an issue. But that's not really the end of the world. If it's just you, if it's just you yourself, and you're just sick of it, and you're just irritated with it always happening, then it's a great solution. It is. It's an absolute wonderful solution. The forward slash pf in exactly this format with the exact same spaces and then the name of your project file afterwards. So I'm not going to take credit for it. I'm going to uh, give a shout out to the guy or girl, I'm assuming it's a guy, who showed me how to do it or who showed me the errors of my ways. Smillinger, Smile, Smile, Smillinger, or however you pronounce your name. You, sir, you can take credit for it. And I am wrong, actually. And I, like I said in the post just below, um, Smil Smillinger's post, Autodesk product support many years ago actually told me this wasn't possible to do. So, uh, we'll not say any more about that. So, thank you very much to Smillinger, and thank you to you for watching this video. 
and press like if this helped you out. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. Put put a comment in the video if you've got some requests or you know if you've got any thoughts and feelings and opinions that you need to get off your chest. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys. See ya.